Hello everyone, this is the second video uh, regarding IT or information security risk management. In this video, you will be, have, you will be developing the understanding of uh, basic terminologies and you will be having an understanding of definitions required to understand a whole risk assessment and management process. So the content is the same as I mentioned, basic definition to understand risk management process. So first of all, uh, what is an asset or process inventory? So whenever you perform a, a risk assessment, um, you need e either the asset or a process over which you will be performing your risk assessment. So this means that you would need an inventory, a list where all the IT assets or processes are being listed down. Second is asset valuation. So it can also be process valuation. So here you uh, actually try to determine what is the value of the particular asset. Now that asset could be evaluated in monetary terms as well. For instance, if my server is $10,000 worth, so that is a value of the asset. But usually in IT and uh, information security risk management, we, we evaluate the asset based on its confidentiality, integrity, and availability. We define metrics having values as high, medium, low, for confidentiality and integrity and availability and calculate the asset value for the same. Now, what is a threat? We discussed this in great detail in previous lecture. Um, so uh, shortly, a potential aspect that could result in impact on exploiting vulnerability is a threat. Similarly, vulnerability is a weakness. Um, for example, it's lack of vulnerability assessment, absence of policies and procedures. Likelihood is how often a threat tries or attempts to exploit a vulnerability uh, and it could be daily, once a week, once a month and impact is the resultant outcome when a threat exploits a vulnerability. Now uh, you are determining the likelihood and impact based on defined matrix uh, as I mentioned for the asset valuation as well. Um, so based on your organization requirement you define the matrix and then you uh, choose out the value of likelihood impact. Uh, inherent risk is the risk which is nat naturally associated with the asset or process. For instance, if there is a website which is an asset, so it is naturally uh, under the threat uh, or risk of information disclosure due to a lot of uh, SQL injection attempts. So that is inherent risk. Uh, control assessment and value. So basically, in order to address any risk, you apply a control to it. It could be any tool, solution, or a process to manage it. Um, now, when you have applied a control on risk, you assess its effectiveness, that how effective this particular uh, control is uh, behaving against this risk. Now, when you do that, you have a matrix based on which you define, you assign a value to that control. So that particular matrix has its own values. For instance, um, let, let us consider sufficient, not sufficient, um, absent, for instance, so we, we have these values uh, in qu uh, qualitative terms, we can assign it to the particular control and this whole process is called control assessment. Residual risk. Now, once you apply the control on the risk, the risk left behind is basically called residual risk. Now, that residual risk can never be null or zero. It will always be there, but in a reduced amount than it used to be before. So. As per the definition, after applying a control on a particular risk, the risk left behind is called residual risk. Or in other words, for understanding, it can be inherent risk minus the control value. Now, when you're performing the risk assessment, you don't use minus, you use division uh, because it will result in reasonable values. So, but you've got the uh, idea and understanding that what actually the residual risk is. So asset owner, asset owner is basically the person who is owning a particular asset, it could be an application from the business side. Now that person is responsible uh, for all the associated risk uh, of those assets because that person is running the business through this asset, therefore that person is the owner. So uh, asset custodian, these people are usually from IT, they are managing the asset, you know, applying all the security controls required uh, on the assets and, you know, everything required to manage and maintain the assets custodians are doing that usually are from IT risk owner is the person who is actually accountable for a particular risk risk owner is usually the asset owner him or herself but it, it could be someone else as well if appointed by the management that this particular person is responsible and accountable for all the uh, risks 
uh, for which that person is assigned for. So that is the risk owner. Um, so thank you. These are the basic definitions. I will make more videos. If you have any query, please do not forget to comment. And if you have any request, please do comment as well. Thank you very much.